Hello my beautiful caterpillars. Sorry this video is so dark right now. Um, I'm filming it at like 11.30 at night so there's like no natural sunlight. Um, here let me a second. Let me try and like brighten it up and I'll cut back with you. If it's not, it's worse then we'll stop. Okay well now I look very orange or yellowish. Sorry this is probably about as best of lighting we're probably gonna get at like 11.30 at night. I just have my lamp like sitting over top of you guys so I'm sorry if the lighting is really weird or crazy. Um, everyone has gone to bed now so that's the only time I got to film today. So yes, today we are doing a haul. This is a big huge collective haul that I've been collecting since my last haul in June and this is July's haul. I'm probably going to have um, another haul coming up quite soon because I did to order a lot of stuff from uh, a lot of stuff. I ordered some stuff from oh, some stuff online, some stuff from ColourPop, Sephora, and um, a couple things from my birthday because it was my birthday this past um, in this coming month. July July is my birthday month, so I got a couple things from my birthday that I'm gonna show you, and a couple things that I've been shopping for um, with my friends and. I'm going on vacation soon, so I'm going to buy some things then, so I'm probably going to do a haul then when that stuff's all over, but I just didn't want to have these haul, this haul to be, like, massively huge, so I was like, we'll do it in, like, two parts, like, uh, two hauls instead of, like, being, like, a 20-minute haul and maybe be, like, a 10-minute haul, hopefully, I don't know, we'll see, um, but let's get into it in absolutely no particular order. This is a collective haul. I've been collecting this stuff for weeks now. Um, some of the stuff I bought tonight, some of the stuff I got a while ago. I've just been having a list and every time I buy something I write it down that I want to show you guys. So um, let's get into it. My big massive bag. First of all, I went to Bath and Body Works actually twice. Um, so I'll get into that. The first time I went in there, I got some soap. Um, these soaps were like for three, um, they were with the deal where they had them on for like three seventy or something. So I got the cinnamon spice vanilla and the Hawaiian pink hibiscus and I, these are the gel ones, um, the deep cleansing hand soap and, and I like these ones and I like the gel, the foaming ones too. These were just ones that were on sale and I like the smell of these. So I got more for school because, you know, I go through both soap maybe once or twice a month, not twice a month, like once every like one or two months. So I got some more soaps to kind of stock up while they were on sale. My next trip to Bath and Body Works um, was when they had the perfume, it was the same like week, um, they had their perfumes on for 75, not the perfumes, their um, Fine Meg Fragrance Mist on for 75% um, off. So they were like $3 or something and then I had like a coupon for so much off. So I ended up getting the Midnight Pomegranate, which smells really nice. I got the Peony. These are all like summer scents if you can't tell. And then I got the Nava Valley Sunset. And I'm about, well, they are on it already. I have been using it. See, it's not just like I've been sitting around for a month because I finished um, all my other perfumes from Bath and Body Works, but fine fragrance mist from Bath and Body Works, and I thought I'd get a couple more just because I'm working with kids in the summer, so I didn't really want to have my really nice perfumes and spray them every day, so I was like, we'll just get some that are more, like, kid-friendly, because I don't want to waste my expensive perfumes on, not on, like, kids, but I'm not doing anything every day, so, like, I kind of want to save them for, like, when I'm going somewhere, like, special vacation or, like, going to school, you know, just something more sophisticated as opposed to with kids, I don't really need to have a very sophisticated scent. So, yes. Also, that same day, I got some, um, travel things, some smart tubes, um, travel on from the dollar store for, like, three dollars. They're, like, those little, like, twistable ones. I don't know if you can see this at all. Um, I got, like, four of them for, like, shampoos and stuff, because I thought these ones are better than the actual, like, travel bottle ones, because those ones are hard to clean out. These ones are reusable. You can reuse them. They're easy to clean out. Um, I got ones with different colors, so I got two purple ones and a green one and, and a orange one, but I'm also using those ones, so I'm traveling a bit, um, over the summer. We're going on the holidays soon with my family and just seeing my friends and stuff, too, so I thought I'd better pick up some of those. And then also, while I was at the dollar store, let me dive into the bag, I got two, sorry about the crappy lighting, of the Jergens Ultra Care um, Revised Dryness for Visually Healthier Skin Moisturizers, little 
little mini ones um, to go in my purse because I'm almost out of the St. Ives ones. I don't even know if you can see those. There you go. You can kind of see now. So I'm almost out of the St. Ives ones. So I got some more of those. Oh my god, I hate this lighting. It looks so orange. I'm so sorry. Can't really do nothing about it. <laughs> um, I also got a Vaseline Lip Therapy in Rosy Lips. As you can tell, I've been using it quite a bit. Um, because this one is probably one of the ones that in the store, the only ones I could find in the store, I don't even know if petroleum jelly is super good for you either, but the, it didn't say that has the bad stuff that like dries out your lips more. Um, and like I tried just plain petroleum jelly, but every time I got it in my mouth or something, I just felt so sick to my stomach. So I was like, here, let's get one that's scent flavored. So if we kind of, because if it's on your lips, you're going to, you know, eventually taste it. And just straight petroleum jelly, I would feel so sick afterwards. But with this, I don't. So great. Yay. Exciting stuff. <laughs> um... I got a Garnier Skin Active Marcella water. This is just the all in ones cleansing water. This one is as removes makeups, um, all skin types, even sensitive. No oils, alcohols, or fragrances. It's a 400 ml. This one is not the waterproof makeup. I'm just using this one as a Marcella water in the morning to kind of cleanse my face to not over strip it. Right now I'm using a simple one. But this one is cheaper and has a lot more and was on sale. So, um,. I got this one instead of the simple one. I just wanted to try this. I do really like the simple one though. Um, so, yeah. I'm kind of sad to see that one go. I'm almost done that one. Um, I got rid of a lot of nail polishes recently and like a long time ago too. I got rid of them. Um, so, I kind of got a few more polishes. So, I'm going to start with the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Wear in white on. This one had dried all out. If you watch my empties, you'll know it dried all out. So I got another one of those um, because I like that stuff. Because white nail polish is essential. Doy. Um, I also got a Sally Hansen Insta Dry Nail Polish in 476 Show Stealer. And it's a really pretty light gray. I don't even know if you can swing up through your color. To me right now, looking in the mirror, it looks like in the camera, it looks like it's... Um, brown but I swear to you it's it's a light gray it's really really pretty um light gray color I there should be another nail polish oh right yes there we go I got um one of the flower polish nail polishes um it, this one says make my day it's in like a brownie nude color these were on for like three dollars so I grabbed one I was like, oh, I really like the nude brown colors. I got a polish and I was like, oh, I really want some more. So I got another one. And then I got the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Wear in 240 Baby Blue. These were on for $2. So I was like, well, I'll grab this one. And um, I'm kicking myself in the store now because I like put this one up to the Essie's Bikini Sotini. And in the store, they looked like identical in color, but they're probably not. And then they were Essence were on sale from like ten dollars to like seven ninety eight so I really wanted to try some essence nail polish so I bought one and then I, this one was the mint candy apple because I really want a mint green color I have one but it's kinda not quite the mint green and plus I really wanted to try essence polish polish because I've never tried it before and everyone says they're so good and they don't chip on them and blah blah so I just wanted to try it to see if it was actually worth the hype or not um, and since they were kinda on sale I kind of caved and bought it because I really wanted to try one for a while. Also, this one, another one was on for a dollar, uh, two dollars. This is the Sally Hansen Hard as, Hard as Nails Extreme Wear in 019 Mauve Over. And it's this really pretty mauve color. And I don't have anything like this. So I thought I would try that. Um, it's actually all my nail polishes. <laughs> Just got this bad boy today, so I have no idea how it works. This is the Essence Lip Liner in 14 Feminine Fatal. It's um, just a red lip liner because someone said um, it's to like help make your red lips like not bleed all over the place is to use a lip liner around them and then they won't bleed. And I have a real bad problem with my red lip bleeding all over my face. So um, like the lipstick gets where it shouldn't be. So I thought I would try this. So I picked this up today while we were in Shoppers. <laughs> um, speaking of which, oh, while I was in Shoppers... I got one of those little like sample things if you like go to the beauty counter and check out and um, they gave me these perfume samples. She was like these aren't the greatest ones, she was like these are all the ones I have but 
I really like this one. It's the J. Dior um, Ella Toilette, and then there's the J. Dior um, Collection. It's the dark one, but I really like the lighter one. I don't really know. They smell nice. Um, as well as the little sample I got was the, she was like, that's the only one we have. She's like, we have men's samples. Do you want one of those? And I was like, sure, because they're basically the exact same product, just one's catered, one's says for female. It doesn't say for female, but one's like for male, and then the other ones are basically like for women, but we don't say we're for women, but we're geared, geared towards women. And I was like, it's the exact same thing. Our skin is like men's skin and women's skin. Like, there's not like a difference. It's skin. You know, so I was like, sure, I'll take it. Um, this is the Biotherma Homey Aqua Power um, Ultra Moisturizing moisturizer what does it smell like oh it smells like a man good to know oh well it's a nice little like travel size so I'll probably take with me when I go on holidays the only thing it does have alcohol in it which you're not supposed to use with oily skin because it's gonna or in your skin because it's gonna dry your skin out and um, that means I'm gonna have more oil on my face so I'll probably use this when I go traveling just as a little moisturizer although it'll smell like a man but that's okay um, because my family is, so I'll just put on a night and it's fine. Or I can just do it, you know, when no one else is around, just use a moisturizer, no big deal. That fell. <laughs> um, I got these from Walmart. These are the Makeup Off Switzer's Exfoliating Rowlets. They've got a cotton pad on one side and an exfoliator on the other side. And these were, like, $2, something like crazy. Um, because I can only buy them at the dollar store for, like, 100 so, but I just wanted to try the exfoliator ones and see if the pads actually worked or not. We'll see. If I like them, maybe I'll repurchase them. Who knows? Although you can't beat $1.25 for 100 round cotton pads. They're okay, you know. They might break up a little bit on your face, but you're using them one time. No big deal. I got another Nivea Inchar body lotion for normal to dry skin. This is the Sea Mineral Fragrance. That was nice. I don't know. I thought I'd try it. Um, I had a $2 off coupon and this was on sale. So I was like, yes, yeah, savings, coupons, on sale, plus a coupon. Great deal. <laughs> you guys know I love my coupons. Um, I got <laughs> a giant thing of contact solution. These have two bottles of the Solo Care Aqua All-in-One Solution Moisturizing Effect for All Day Comfort. Um, they're the, it comes up with, these are for the soft contact lenses. I also had a $2 off coupon for these. That's why I got such a big one. Um, I probably would have only just gotten, I was just planning on getting the one, but then the coupon was for the two, so I was like, okay. And I really like this contact solution. Um, it's really nice. Out of the three that I've tried, this is probably my favorite. So, I repurchased it because I had a coupon. We may or may not stick with this brand. I might try some more out. But I really like this brand so far. Um, my mom used to use it too. So, yeah, back when she had contacts, she doesn't anymore because they hurt her eyes. So, so yeah. I also just picked this up. This is the Indie Laboratories Fill Me Volumizing, Volumizing Serum. It says... So multi-peptides firmly designed to help improve the visible lines of anti-aging, including loss of firmness, moisture, and electricity. elasticity. Um, this is basically the only one that I could find that um, kind of suited my knees and didn't have alcohol in it. There, it's hard to find serums at the drugstore too. So I'm probably going to have to, if I don't like this, probably end up shopping at Sephora. I've tried a couple serums now, um, but... I'm just kind of shopping around with serum. I'm not completely happy with some. I really did like um, the Soap and Glory serum, but um, I'm trying a few, and we'll see which one I like, and, you know, maybe stick with... I don't know. But anyways, I thought I'd pick this one up. Um, so, yeah. I also got the Alme Smart Shade um, Skin Toning Matching Makeup, because... And it's got SPF 15, which is really nice. Tati was talking about that in the shade Light. And she was just like, it's like five minute makeup. You just put on your hands and like rub it in your face and it's like, it'll blend like smoothly and everything. And I was like, it takes me like 20 minutes to do like 
10 minutes of just me trying to blend out my foundation. So if this actually helps me do it quicker, I will be quite happy. Plus, I don't need, like, I don't want to have such a heavy foundation in the summer, too. I want kind of something lighter because it's hot out and my skin is just, like, oil field central. So I don't want to have to, like, cake it on with, like, pounds and pounds of makeup. Um, because I feel like that would just make me break out more, so if I could use, and like, I'm hot and sweaty, so there's more oil on my face and more dirt, and so like, mixed with makeup, and it's just gonna be even worse. So, I thought I'd pick this up and try this, because I really want to try it too while well. it's how to eat this, talking about like crazy. I'll leave the video down below if I remember in the link, but, yeah. Another thing I got was the Neutrogena Rapid Repair Stubborn Acne Daily Leave-On Mask. And this has benzoyl peroxide acne medication. And um, this is the first one I actually found that I was looking at that actually had benzoyl peroxide. Um, because most of the ones that I look for don't actually have benzoyl peroxide. Ah. In them, most of them silic acid. And that one just seems to not be cutting it for my skin. So I thought I'd try a benzoyl peroxide. I'll let you know how it goes. Um... But, and this one doesn't have any alcohol in it, which is good because that um, can dry out your skin. So, yeah. So, uh, that's not good either. I also picked up a Rimmel London 8-hour hydration um, fix and protect makeup primer. It says it's anti-pollutant, anti-stress, protects shields, skin perfecting um, one. Because I thought I'd try this one because I don't think I... I've tried the blue one but I haven't tried this one. And I'm almost out of my other primer which I love by the way if I went wild. I'd probably be doing a review up soon about that one. But I thought I'd pick this guy up and try this and see because I haven't been happy with the last uh, few primers that I've tried. I've just been not impressed with them basically. Ooh. Okay. The last thing I got was an Air Canada Eye Shield eye shades and earplugs like an eye mask I didn't really want earplugs with them but um, I'm going on holiday soon and um, and my friends place staying at my friends place and going with my family too and the rooms are never dark enough and it wakes me up at like 5 a.m. and then I can't sleep because I need it like to be completely black and my dad will get up in the middle of the night and like turn on all the lights in the room and like wake us all up so um I thought I'd get an eye mask and try that out to see if it would like darken the room. Plus, whenever I sleep somewhere, they don't have like dark enough a dark enough room because I have like blackout blinds kind of. They're supposed to like block out like a lot of the sun, and then I have blackout curtains on top of that. So it really like makes my room pitch black in it in the middle of the day. So um, without the lights on. So I thought I would try this because that's the only way I can sleep I need to sleep in complete darkness plus when I'm at school I wake up at like 8 a.m. on the weekends because the sun just comes in my room and I'm like I can't sleep so I thought I would try that so <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this haul it's a big huge collective randomness everything haul hope you guys enjoyed it I'll see you guys later sorry about the bad lighting I do apologize see you guys later goodbye beautiful butterflies Mwah. bye I love beautiful caterpillars and today